Enjoy a narrated virtual tour of general aviation aircraft exhibited in the Smithsonian's Air and Space Museum's Udvar-Hazy Center. The museum is in Chantilly, Virginia, outside of Washington, D.C., is free to visit, but there is a $15 parking fee. Mooney Aircraft Corporation produced more than 365 M-18 mites between 1947 and 1955. The compact, single-place, low-wing monoplane had retractable landing gear and wing flaps, new amenities for personal planes of that era. Mooney's patented safe trim system featured a movable horizontal stabilizer interconnected to the flaps for automatic nose attitude trim. Current Mooney aircraft still sport the trademark forward-swept vertical fin of the original Mite. The Beechcraft Model 18 made its first demonstration flight on January 15, 1937 and remained in production for 32 years. This low-wing, all-metal, twin-engine monoplane was intended as a six- to eight-passenger executive or feeder airline transport. Over the years, the Model 18 was adapted to many uses with 32 different variations. Beach Aircraft Corporation developed the King Air in 1964 as a compromise between piston engine and jet aircraft, becoming the world's first popular turboprop aircraft. It could fly farther and faster than piston engine aircraft and can land on the short runways of most small airports. In 2001, it was the primary business aircraft for small to mid-sized companies and it was an integral part of the flight inventories of many larger corporations. The museum's aircraft is an early model with both the Queen Air and King Air designation 65-90, meaning it was a Queen Air 88 design upgraded with Pratt & Whitney turboprop engines. The Cessna 150 and 152 were the most popular civilian training aircraft after World War II as well as economical recreational vehicles for weekend pilots. The series has been out of production for almost 40 years, but still serves as two-seat general aviation trainers in the United States. The exhibited model A152 Aerobat has greater structural strength than did the 150. It could withstand up to plus 6 Gs and minus 3 G forces, appealing to those looking for a little more basic aerobatic and spin capabilities. The Globeswift GC1A is a sporty general aviation design whose beauty and superior flying characteristics made it a classic. Produced from 1946 to 1951, the A model was the only multi-seat, complex, non-experimental aircraft with under 100 horsepower in the United States. All metal with sleek lines and retractable landing gear, it handled like a fighter and was a major advance over wood and fabric sport designs and surprisingly economical to fly. North American Rockwell Shrike Commander is a twin-engine, seven-place, unpressurized business aircraft. This plane was a production 500S business aircraft except for smoke and propeller unfeathering systems. It was flown by Bob Hoover in air shows for 20 years, ending performances with his signature dead stick, no engine, routine of loop, roll, 180-degree turn, landing, and taxi to air show center. The Grumman G-164 AgCat is the first mass-produced aircraft specifically designed for agricultural aviation, the aerial application of chemical, fertilizer, and seed. It was one of the most successful, with nearly 2,700 built. It handles the rigors of low-altitude, high-g-force agricultural application maneuvers due to its rugged construction, low stall speed, and good visibility. As of 2008, many radial and turbine-powered AGCATs were still in use. From August 9th to December 10th, 1947, Clifford Evans and George Truman circled the globe in their Piper PA-12 supercruisers. 
covering 22,436 miles, the first time light personal aircraft accomplished such a feat. Evans flew the city of Washington, while Truman flew the city of Angels, now at the Piper Aviation Museum in Lock Haven, Pennsylvania. Piper aircraft arranged for second-hand planes and extra fuel tanks, while radio and navigation equipment were also donated. Flags of each nation they visited were hand-painted on the fuselage's left side and 53 of 55 city stops on the right side. The Piper PA-18 Super Cub was a strengthened PA-11 Cub Special, which was a modification of the original J-3 Cub. About 8,500 were built, and they were popular as private and utility aircraft and as military trainers. The Atomic Energy Commission used this Super Cub in its uranium exploration programs in the West during the 1950s. The rough and sometimes inaccessible terrain made an airborne survey a logical choice, and the AEC's fleet of 10 low, slow, and inexpensive Super Cubs maintained a good record for safety and reliability. In 1954, Piper Aircraft Corporation introduced the four-place retractable gear PA-23 Apache, the first airplane in the Piper Indian executive and business lines. Priced at $32,000, they were the least expensive light twin aircraft. Over 2,000 were built before being upgraded in 1960 to the popular Aztec series. This aircraft was believed to be the oldest flying Apache when it arrived at the Dulles Airport in 1990. The Dassault Cargo Falcon 20 is a French jet aircraft that was the first to carry a Federal Express air package. The Series 20 was modified for cargo use, including an oversized cargo door and a strengthened floor. Within a decade, 33 were flying in the Federal Express network. Leland Snow designed the Air Tractor AT301 in 1972 as the aerial application of products became an essential part of farming. At the request of Disney Toon Studios, this air tractor was painted to match the paint scheme of Dusty Crophopper, an agricultural plane who longs to become an air racer in the animated film Planes. This air tractor acquired 10,140 hours servicing various crops and a bow weevil pest eradication program. I hope you enjoyed this narrated virtual tour of general aviation aircraft displayed in the Stephen F. Udvarhazy National Air and Space Museum. If you would like to tour other aircraft in this series, you will find convenient links in the description section below this video. Here are YouTube suggested links on similar topics that you may enjoy.